I'll be right back. I'm not be right back. I just kind of, well, I'll be right back. I was just kind of, I don't know if I'm going to pause or not, but I'm going to put this down real quick. I'm straight up, like, ruining his book. You know what I mean? Not ruining his book, but you know what I'm saying? Like, damn. I'm all bending it back and shit, like, damn. I don't know how that he kept it so, like, so, like, straight and stuff. Like, damn, you know what I mean? Like, sure. I had to get down and gritty. I had to get down and gritty with my books, nigga. Like, I'm playing. My books are looking good, too, though, but most of all, not, not the Bible. It's just like a, like a paperback kind of thing. Dang, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, 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 we haven't got to that part yet, sure. What the heck are we doing? Over right here. So, put it down and see see my thumb. I don't know. That was better. That was better. Like, see it better like that. Like, sure, you know like, for real. Like, fuck okay, you can see the book like that. Um, what is so... Okay. What is so odd and so brilliantly present in African-American literature and biblical literature if one reads carefully, is the stated purpose of re- religiosity as a butress against misery and injustice over the manner in which religious thought and activity often attempts to achieve liberation, liber, liberative ends through a negation of the flesh. Hmm. Put differently, some of the same folks who sang Marvin Gaye's 1980s anthem of, I, I really don't know what you're talking about, sexuality, yeah, but <laughs> sure, exactly, um, anthem of sensuality, desire, and sexual celebration, sexual healing, also sat in religious services marked by a perception of sexual pleasure as dangerous. <clears throat> hmm. Saturday night and Sunday morning were epistemologically epistemologically opposed and existentially tense. Readers will recall Shug's words Provided above was over there now. This is to the left and down at that point, but that's funny right there too. But um, that is to say, black religion often promotes an illogical, disembodied, or body despising formulation of fullness of life. Black religion, sex, and sexuality. Most forms of black Christianity, for example, tradition premised on the presence of divinity in flesh, are are philosophically um, constipated in that the sacred story of embodiment does little to affect an embrace of the worshiper's physical body and the full range of pleasures his body can give and receive. Ooh, wait. Hope it doesn't sound crazy though. This shit is not, this shit is deep. Think about it. Damn. Although the story of embodiment might encourage an appreciation for the cosmic significance with, within flesh. If the divine finds a home in flesh, why should humans find the body so uncomfortable? It becomes a parable of escape, of struggle to get out of the body. Flesh becomes a burden to lament. That's the word lament. Await, await the righteous seek to overcome at least momentarily true, through rituals of purification, e.g. baptism. It is widely argued that black religion develops in the context of the United States as elsewhere as a creative response to the human desire for a greater sense of being, a fuller sense of 
self in relationship to the world and perhaps trans transcendent transcendent reality mindful of this modalities of black religion such as the black church have received praise for strides made concerning the holistic liberation of African Americans conceived in the, the in the theological, religious, socio, socio, political, economic, cultural, and physiological terms, and these institutions have been <clears throat> critiqued and at times denounced when they fail to promote the betterment of life for African Americans. When, however, one analyzes the engagement of African Americans, when, however, the engagement of black churches with the development of black being, there is a glaring lack of attention to the bodies of African Americans. Realness is desired, but this quality of existence entails a rejection of the body historical of the body's historical presence in suspicion towards the culturally contrived reminders of its tendency to ever present yearnings. <clears throat> Black religion seeks to enhance the subject subjectivity of African Americans by securing more complex space spaces for of identity and creativity. Americans but uh, yet this is often done in ways that ignore, if not deny, the manner in which African Americans are embodied in the way they are often defined by and reduced to popular perception of, of black flesh. And put differently, I like that. There is still a tendency in black churches, for example, to privilege the spiritual over the physical in ways that actually do damage to subjectivity by encouraging suspicion toward the needs, wants, and desires expressed by the physical body. Oh, good, I'm coming over freaky. Don't just sort of smut it out. I wanted to just come, you know. Suck my shit, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, open them, spread them, you know what I'm saying? Shit, you know what I'm saying? Let me get that shit, dog. That's all I'm saying, nigga. I mean, she's actually Asian. I'm my fault. You know what I'm saying? She's not African American. You know what I mean? She just did it. Then still, nigga, like, damn, nigga, she's on that sexual purity show, nigga. You know, if I climb in the walls, nigga, have it on the walls, nigga, you know what I'm saying? For real, nigga, she did it. Um, there, there remains a tension within black religion, black religious institutions such as the black church with respect to sex and sexuality. Although the black church has traditionally avoided discussion, it has not meant that sex and sexuality were not an issue. If this were not the case, many pastors could spend less time in counseling sessions with the church members a few, a few, and fewer pastors will lose the moral and ethical authority of, the, of their pulpit duties to end discretions defining an acceptable and working standard of black sexual identi identity has been difficult, so difficult that few even venture an attempt. I'm going for it. I'm trying, I'm trying to smash, dog. Honestly, I'm trying to make her feel like, you know, a mad pure about it. You're like, damn, I want to take it to like a whole nother place. Like, when I smash it, I want like, for real, I want to feel like, you know, like, I want to take it to a whole nother place. Then you feel me? Like, yo, like, I'm telling you, like, yo, if I can get it to, like, you know, feel like, you know, God in my penis, and I'm just saying, like, just, like, just straight up, but, you know, just bear with me. I mean, but damn, if I can, like, make her feel that shit, you know, any nigga, it's like, whatever. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. She's, she's blessed, nigga. She's blessed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And me too, because I was talking about sexual compatibility. 
I'm not gonna talk about that right now. We got it. That's what I'm saying, but man. I'm not talking about that at all, but I'm just saying that like, me and the girl got it, and so it's like, you know, I don't get it. I get revenge, you know. I'm saying this. Wanna, yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's just, I need to calm down. <laughs> I need to calm down, and she's like, we got it right back. 